Hey y'all. How about today? We make smoky southern style greens. That makes you think that there's bacon or ham in there, but there's not and they're so good. They're plant-based, whole food, oil-free, and they're slap your mama good. They're so good. And they smell oh, delicious. They're super healthy for you, super easy, and super delicious. Let's begin. Hey y'all. How about today? Plant-based booty. Okay, so how this recipe came to be was, Steve said one day, I want some greens like my mom and my grandma used to make. Now as a southern woman, I know how to make some greens, but I don't know how to make them without bacon and ham and all that stuff, and so I have mastered that. Um, you're gonna start with four quarts of vegetable broth, or you can do four quarts of water and add like the vegetable bouillon to it. Um, Get that boiling, and now you wanna cut your greens. I have a mix of greens here. This is, that pot is really big and in the way, isn't it? <laughs> this is um, collard greens, mustard greens, and turnip greens. And the reason why I did a mix was because that's what my grocery store had to offer me. <laughs> um, and you want to take the stem out of the collard greens, definitely. Now the turnip greens and the mustard greens, it's okay to just kind of break off the end where it's really hard and then just chop, chop the stem up. Um, you want to chop, wash them and chop them 45 minutes before you eat them, because there's a science behind it. Um, something about nutrients. What is it, Stevie? <laughs> Uh, well, when you cut, the act of cutting the greens, any cruciferous vegetables, causes a compound which they have to produce another uh, substance called sulf sulforaphane, which has major benefits to liver and kidney function. It helps to combat against autism. It's just, there's a whole list of, of literally dozens of benefits, almost miraculous. And you can get that information on nutritionfacts.org. Uh, Dr. Michael Greger talks about this. So go look at his videos about how to cook greens. Yes. But so the it's thing, good for you. Biggest thing is chop and hold. Chop, wait 45 minutes. So then we're just going to, now it's going to seem like a lot, but if you've ever cooked greens, you know they really just like cook down. So we're just going to add this. To our water, to our floor, and our counter. <laughs> All in there. And then to that, we're going to add, these are what we like, you know, mix it up however you like. This is just one onion, the pretty large onion, kind of roughly chopped. Um, we like sweet potatoes in ours, so this is. Our sweet potatoes are kind of small, so this is actually two sweet potatoes, but if you just have one big one, that would be fine. Let's get all that mixed down in there. It already smells so good. And now we're gonna add our seasonings. This is gonna freak you out because you're gonna think it's way too much. This is what we like. You can come back on it if you want to. This is about 10 cloves of garlic chopped. We like things really flavorful in our house. Um, this is oh, this is two teaspoons of smoked paprika and two teaspoons of Tony's um, Cajun seasoning. You can use whatever Cajun, Cajun seasoning you want. Some of them have a lot of salt in it, so watch that. Um, this is two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, and this is three teaspoons of garlic powder and three teaspoons of onion powder. I know, seems like a lot. 
Um, this is liquid smoke. It's three teaspoons of liquid smoke. We're going after that bacony flavor. Now this is maple syrup. This is an eighth of a cup of maple syrup. You can add a quarter of a cup of like a pure cane sugar if you want to. Um, we're adding this because this is actually a spicy maple that we really, really like. And so not only does it add that little bit of element of sweetness, it has some spice to it. So then, I'm just gonna mix this all up. Now here's the thing, you gotta have some patience with this, y'all, because those greens take a while and those potatoes take a while. So you're gonna turn it on like medium to low heat, cover it, stir it every now and then, check your water levels for a couple of hours. I know, I know, a couple of hours. This is not like a, oh no, I forgot to cook dinner type of thing. This is a plan ahead type of thing. So we're gonna get this going and see y'all soon. Okay, so like after, I don't know, these, these guys have been going, Close to two hours, hour and a half. Um, you know, I'll taste them, see if they're tender. Depends on how tiny you cut them. I'm going to stir in a teaspoon of baking soda. It's gonna fizz up, look kinda weird. That's to help our tummies, you know, because these are cruciferous vegetables that um, can just make you all gassy. And now I'm going to start in, this is like three to four cups of just some chopped cabbage. I'm just going to mix that in. And then now you're just going to cook it until that cabbage is tender. So like maybe another 30, 45 minutes and it'll be done. So I'm going to put the lid on it. You know, taste your seasoning to make sure it's flavorful enough, not bland. Add some more things if you need to. And then just let it sit for another 30, 45 minutes. See y'all soon. Okay, y'all. It's been long enough. Um, I don't know. Sometimes tongs are easier to get it out with. So I'm going to start with this. I like mine served over my mashed potatoes, my creamy mashed potatoes. But I'm going to make this bowl for Steve. So, there you have it, y'all. It's so good. Of course, he's going to add hot sauce and jalapenos to his, but plant-based, whole food, oil-free, smoky, bacony, wink, wink, southern style greens. They're so good for you. They're like miraculously good for you. So be sure to like and subscribe and share and try the recipes. Be blessed, y'all.